Hello everyone! Today's video is a bit different than usual. Per request from a TikTok follower, by the way, go follow me on TikTok and Instagram, I'm doing a tutorial on my digital drawing app. So I use the app Color on my iPhone, and I use my finger because I don't have the iPad or pencil to connect to my phone, but it still works the same for whatever you're using. So let's just get straight into it. I'm starting by showing the color option where there are many, many, many different coloring pages to use, spanning from animals, plant shapes, etc. Here's me scrolling through all of them. There are so many, however, with everything in this world, it costs money for some of them. The ones with the crown you need to pay for the gold membership thing thing. So the color thing is pretty self-explanatory, so we're going to go and move on to the upload photo section. You can pick any photo. Um, don't mind the blurred pictures, they're just drawings I haven't posted yet. So when you add the photo on this part, it takes up the whole canvas, but you have to add a layer on top because as you can see, if it messes up, you erase and you erase the picture with it. So now you can erase without ruining the original photo as long as you make a layer. To make one layer disappear for a moment, just click the eye and the layer will turn invisible. So now it's time to make a canvas size. There are so many options, even an option where you can make your own size. Um, so that's pretty easy. Then you just click this, which is like the free drawing thing. So in this toolbar, we have a bunch of options. This one is to create lines or shapes. Um, so, like I said, you can just create lines like squares, circles, whatever. I'm drawing a blank on any other shapes, but whatever. Um, and you, yeah, it's pretty self-explanatory. This one, the little paint bucket, it's to fill anything, not just the shapes, but any like open space with a um, color or pattern. I'll show you how to use the color later, but yeah. So this is the text option. I don't have this because I'm pretty sure you have to pay for it. However, I'll still show you all the different fonts that they offer. So next, this little squiggly line is just to add the color options from earlier, but you can use them as stickers. Now, this finger right here, it uses to blend together. The blending brushes are exact same as the regular brushes, so I'm not going to show them all, but I will show all of the regular brushes later. Um, and I also forgot to mention that with the stickers um, from earlier, you can just use the paint bucket to fill them up so you don't have to um, color them in because that would be a hassle. And I keep saying this, the paintbrush is pretty self-explanatory, um, you just use it to free draw. Now moving on to the layer controls. Transform can be used to move the stickers or images from their final resting place. Well, I guess it's not final anymore. Then the lock feature. Again, pretty self-explanatory. You can't edit a locked layer, so yeah. Moving on. So again copy just does what it says you can copy a layer boom it's copied so the clean option i use a lot completely clears all drawing anything off the layer now back to the paintbrush um so yeah i'm gonna be used to show you the merging um you have two things on different layers and want them together you just go to the top layer of what you want to merge and merge it with the bottom layer i don't know how else to explain it. it's kind of weird but yeah and you just click the merge and now they're, they're both together. So onto the colors. So once you click the thing to uh, change the color, you can, I mean, it's a lot of colors. You can either use this color picture or the HSB sliders or the RGB sliders or the mixer or even a dropper to get the exact color from the pictures you import in. So now I'm going to choose green and enjoy me showing off all the different brushes available. You can change the size or transparency of the brush. I again chose green because it's my favorite color so I'm sorry if you don't like it. Sorry to interrupt, but the paint thing is a little weird because if you just tap it, it like shows the color, but if you drag your finger, it like shows different colors. It's weird. Um, anyways, okay, bye.
Purple G, you stayed through that whole thing. Thank you. Um, last but not least, to the top toolbar. These arrows are used to undo something or redo something you didn't mean to undo. Again, this image thing is used to import images. This is the access to the layer. And this thing is for symmetry, and it comes in a lot of different ones. So I'm just going to show you. So you have one that is symmetrical vertically and horizontally, and then in four sections, and then in... Is that six? Wait, no, eight. Okay, sorry, I'm dumb. Uh, yeah, sorry for the boring video, but I hope it helps and inspires those who need it. And, um, make sure to like and subscribe, leave a comment if you want. Uh, see you guys next time for a part two where I completely show the full process of me creating and drawing. Um, okie dokie, I'll see you in the next one. Bye!